Hi, this is Renoka. I'm going to show you a quick trick for Flash Professional, which is how to use the command menu and add your own JavaScript to, uh, command, which Adobe called JSFL, which stands for JavaScript Flash. I'm going to show you how to use the history panel to see the actions that you do. So every every action you do adds it to the, the history panel here and it allows you to replay these actions. And what I'm going to show you how to do is make a new script called multiswap. And what this script does is it's very similar to, I'll just move this up so you can see. If you do swap symbol and you change it for another symbol, I've got one called pigeon. And this swaps it for the first frame, but if I move it across, it will change back to the ball in the other keyframes where I didn't swap it. And what I could do is right click here and swap for each one, but that's very tedious and time consuming. So I'll, I'll just undo this. What I'll do is I'll open the, the timeline panel and if I right click on this and do or oh, the history panel, if I do this and do swap symbol to pigeon, it'll add the the operation in the history panel. So what it would let me do is swap to symbol. But if I right click and then do view and then JavaScript in panel, this is the code which swaps the symbol. So essentially gets this document and swaps the selected element for pigeon. So if I select this command, if I highlight it in the panel and then click on this button called save selected step as command, I'll click on this and then call it multi-swap. I'll do OK. And this will save the file in, in your Adobe folder for Flash, which is app data, local Adobe Flash, US, configuration commands. And then you'll see this multi-swap. You won't be able to see this app data by default. You'll have to turn on show hidden folders in the folder option. So what I'll do is copy this location and then here go file open and I'll paste this location here if it's not already there and I'll click on multi-swap and then open the file. I'll just hide this history panel because I don't need it now. So what I need to do is instead of hard coding swapping to pigeon, I'm going to create a variable called library item. And then I'm going to do fl dot get document dom dot library get item property. And then here I'm going to do name. Name is the property for the name of the movie clip in the library. So this one is ball, this one's pigeon. And what I'll do is I'll take this variable and I'll replace it with where it says pigeon. So what this will do is it will it will get a variable for the selected item in the library and then it will swap the current items for the li the item in the library. So if I save this and go back to this document, if I turn on edit multiple frames, so I click this and if I select all, I shall just lock this so it doesn't select that. So if you do edit, select all, and then I click on the pigeon, and then I go to the command menu and select multi-swap, the command that we just wrote, then this will swap it for all the pigeons. Then if I run this again, command multi-swap, it will swap it back for all of the balls. So this is a very nice way of easily swapping all the symbols in an animation without going through and doing each one one by one. So I'll just play this animation. So now it's a pigeon bouncing instead of a ball. You can go one step further if you go to keyboard shortcuts. If you've got one called Adobe Standard, you can go to your own one. I've got one called Favorite. And then if you go to Command, if you go to Multiswap, I already had the shortcut there. If you press plus and then do control M for multi-swap and then do change, 
then that will change, add the shortcut control M to the command multi-swap that we just wrote. If I do OK, and then do onions, the multi edit multiple frames, and then do control M, actually just control A here, then this will let me swap between, and I can do it really fast because I'm doing it from the keyboard instead of doing it from the menu. And this is how you can write your own command based on the, the history panel, export it using this button, edit the file inside Flash, and then add it to the command menu using keyboard shortcuts. I hope that's been useful and gives you lots of ideas and also shows you how easy and how simple some of the scripts can be. They can start off really simple like this two line script or they can get really complicated to a few hundred line script for more complicated automations. But it shows you how powerful it is and how simple it is to get into. If there are any, automate, uh, any tasks that you do that are really repetitive, you can probably automate it with JSFL and add a key add a keyboard shortcut to make it easier for you to use. I hope this has helped and let me know if there's any questions you've got. Thanks. Bye.